Um, today we're using a bunch of materials that I don't normally um, bring into class. I don't normally do online. So um, I'm curious who has the supplies that, um, that I'm using. And if, if you don't, it's totally fine. Like part of being an artist is just kind of using the materials you have. Um, and you could make do, you could just draw your picture out. But today, um, some of the materials that I suggested that you have are some watercolors. So I just have like a watercolor tray, like a pan, a pan sheet. Um, a crayon, I have a white crayon, actually, actually what I have is a white oil pastel. Um, but you can use any kind of crayon or any kind of oil pastel if you have that. The, what we're doing today is we're doing a resist. So the cool thing about oil and water, you may know, is that they push each other away. Oil and water do not like each other. They're like magnets. They go, they, they, they will not stick together. And um, the same is true of wax and water. And crayons are made of, they have wax in them. And, uh, and oil pastels are made out of oil. And so when you add the oil pastel and the watercolor together, they resist one another. And so wherever you draw with your crayon or your oil pastel, the water will not sit onto your paper. So it's kind of this cool, it's just it's called a resist. So that's what we're doing today. But if you don't have these materials, you can always just draw your picture. In fact, I'm gonna show you first how to draw a jellyfish, and then I'm gonna do one using these other materials. Hi, I know we just had some um, other friends come in. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Megan. Hi, Cameron. Hi, Charlotte. Ben and Benji. Wow. So was, hi, Kat. Hi, Lily. So I was just saying, and I'm going to say it one more time just because I know we had some uh, other people join in, that today is more materials than normally I have in an online class. So some of the materials I suggested that you have today are watercolors. And it's okay mm -hmm. if you don't have these materials because you can always just draw your picture in. But I'm going to be demonstrating with, like, I just have a, a set of pan watercolors. Um, and uh, I have an, a white oil pastel. But you could also use a crayon if you needed to. Um, uh, Laura can use a white colored pencil. Um, so the reason why a white color pencil may not work with watercolor, it, you might make a really cool picture, but the reason why I'm using an oil pastel is I was just saying that oil pastels and crayon, um, well, oil pastels have oils in them. That's why when you, you get them on your finger, they kind of feel a little like, uh, like, like weird on your fingers. So oil pastels have water, have, have oil in them. And so wherever you draw with an oil pastel, the water, when you use the watercolor, because watercolors are made up of water, will push or resist the color away. So anywhere that you draw with a, an oil pastel, um, when you put watercolor on top of it, the watercolor won't stick. The watercolor will just like beat off anywhere where you drew with the oil pastel. Um, and the same is true of a crayon. But if you just have a, a draw, if you just have color pencils, you can um, you can definitely do just your own drawing of a of a jellyfish swarm. It's totally up to you. All these pictures can come out however, like you are your own artist and you guys have your own materials, so they can look however you want them to look. Um, so can you use watercolor crayons? Sure. Um, I think that will work. I'm not sure, Megan. That's like a good question. So you're, you know what? It's all experiments. Or it's gonna, tr you're gonna try it and you're gonna see what happens, okay? <laughs> and you'll have to let me know if it works because I'm not sure. <laughs> um, all right, so, <laughs> okay. So it is 10.05, so I'm gonna switch because the first thing I'm gonna do is because I'm gonna be drawing with white onto white, it's a little hard to see. So the first thing that I thought we'd do is just practice drawing in a, a jellyfish using just regular pencil so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. Because the other thing is that when you're using crayons, or in my case, oil pastels, they're really thick. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a pretty big, stumpy little, little oil pastel. And so you can't get that much detail out of an oil pastel. So the first thing I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how to draw a jellyfish or how I might draw a jellyfish. I, I did a little test, a little, a little example. So if you want to do the little warm up with me, you're w welcome to. Um, I'm just using a pencil. 
I was using actually, it's like a charcoal pencil because it's what I have right here. Um, so I was researching <laughs> jellyfish before starting this class because I realized that when I started drawing it, I didn't know much about jellyfish other than the fact that they have tentacles. So they not only have tentacles, but they have these um, parts that come out of the middle of them. They're like these spirally, like uh, they're, they're called tentacle arms and they're different from the tentacles. So there's like these two different types of tentacles that jellyfish have. Let me go back to my, let me go back to my researching, <laughs> find out the parts of the jellyfish. Um, let's see here, what were they called? Oh, they were called oral arms. So these things are called the oral arms. And I guess that's how they capture the food. So the tentacles have um, uh, some of the, like the venom or the poison in them. So the you don't want to touch the tentacles, but the oral arms are what bring the, the food, like whatever, whatever fish or shrimp or whatever, whatever creatures they catch, they bring the food up to the mouth of the jellyfish. And the mouth of the jellyfish is right up in here. So it's right up in this middle part. Here, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. Yeah, so the mouth of the jellyfish is kind of up in here. And this part is called the, um, the hood or the bell of the jellyfish. And oh, you know what I forgot to draw, draw in? Is that jellyfish have eye spots. They have these little eye spots. So yeah, so I'll draw in two of those little eye spots. Um, so that's how they can see their, that's how they can see their, uh, their, their prey. So there's lots of different parts <laughs> and I had no idea. Oh, also the other part, maybe I'll, I'll sketch it in a little bit right up here. This is, this is their stomach pouch. This is, I guess, where the food goes after they've eaten it. <laughs> so who knew all the parts of the jellyfish? All right. So how I drew this is I just started with a, a kind of like a, a an upside down U or a bell shape, but I kind of brought it out to the edges like this. So if you want to practice drawing in one, you're more than welcome to because once I start drawing with the white crayon or the white oil pastel, it's going to be hard to see what I'm doing and all this detail is going to get lost. So the bottom part of the jellyfish kind of comes down and then I'm going to draw in one of the tentacles, and then it kind of comes back up like that. And then do another little like, little um, lumpy part with another tentacle coming down. The tentacles are longer than you think they are. They're pretty long. So there's another one. I'm gonna do another little like, yui curvy part here, another tentacle coming down. Maybe I'll make this one a little longer because they're all about the same length. Maybe, maybe two more. Do one more here. Maybe this one crosses behind this other one over here. Like that. And I'll do one more over here. Now I'm gonna draw in some of those other parts of, this, of, the, of the octopus, or the octopus, the, uh, the jellyfish. So I'm gonna draw in their oral arms. So how I did it was I just came up from the, from the bottom of the jellyfish and I'm just doing like a little, um, like a bumpy, I don't know what you call that, like a, just a, like a bumpy line. And then I'm gonna go back and kind of do the other side. Because these, these oral arms are actually a little thicker than the jellyfish, or than the, than the tentacles. So I'm gonna do three of them. And maybe I have, maybe they actually like curve, wait, maybe one curves this way. And then maybe the other one will curve even more that way. So this is how they draw their prey up to their mouth. Maybe it curves kind of down here like that. And then I'm just gonna give them some definition because there's usually like, these ones are a little thicker. So I'm giving it some like little diagonal lines here just to kind of give it some definition. These oral arms. 
And like, this is just practice. This is all just practice right here. This is just kind of sketching out what a jellyfish looks like and all the parts of it. So we did the tentacles in front. I'm just gonna make them a little darker. But there's also gonna be some tentacles in the back of the jellyfish that we didn't, we don't see, but we'll, uh, we don't see the top of, but we'll see there, we'll see the tentacles coming down. So maybe I'll draw some of those in. So tentacles coming from the back could be like. Uh, can you go a little slower, please? Sure. So I'm just drawing in the tentacles that are coming down from the back of the jellyfish. So I'm just drawing them like in like that. So so once again, these, so this is this is what my jellyfish look like when I like when I'm done. So you have the tentacles, so you have the front tentacles, and then you have a couple of tentacles coming up from the back. You'll have the oral arms, which bring the food up to the mouth, which is right kind of in the bottom down here. These are the um, eye spots. And this top part is called the hood, or sometimes it's called the bell. And there's like a tiny little spot at the top, which is the stomach pouch. So I'm gonna I think add- Kaden that. might have a question. Yeah, Kaden. Hi, Kaden. Um, so I just joined. Yeah. Um, what did I do? So, oh, Kaden. Hi, Kaden. We're just trying, we're doing a, a warm up. We're sketching in a jellyfish. So I just started sketching in like parts of part, the parts of the jellyfish. We are learning about all the different parts. So that's kind of where we are right now. So you can just, um, Try to try to. It doesn't have to have a lot of detail today, so you can just kind of use just you can try your best at drawing a jellyfish. That's what we're doing. Okay. Cool. So well, I'm just drawing in some more tentacles, and then so down here is going to be where the mouth is. So these tentacle arms are going to bring the food up to the mouth, but then inside of the jellyfish, inside the hood, there's like another little bell, another little bell shape here. So I'm just sketching in the other little bell shape like that. And I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna give these, these parts some definition, make them a little darker, give them a little shading. I have a charcoal pencil, which is what I'm using. That's why it's pretty easy for me to give, give them some shading right here. And and then if I want, I can give them some eye spots. The one I can do the little circle at the top. This is gonna be his stomach pouch. There go. Make the tentacles a little darker. And there you have it. Those are the parts of a jellyfish. <laughs> so now I have two little jellyfish drawn. Two little jellyfish. It's not quite a swarm, but it's, it's the beginning of a swarm. The beginning of a jellyfish swarm right there. So I wanted to show you <laughs> how to do all the parts because when I use my giant kind of dirty colored, <laughs> a dirty white um, oil pastel, a lot of this detail is going to get lost. And that's okay because this is kind of just an experiment today. Does anybody want to show me their um, sketches before I before we start on our other drawings though? If you'd like to, you can hold it up. I'd love to see. Whoa, girls, that looks awesome. What a great, what great jellyfish you've got. Those are amazing. Nice job. Really nice job. Awesome. Does anybody else want to share? There's a, um, oh, nice. Oh, wait, hold it, hold it up to the camera one more time. Ooh, wow, what a great jellyfish. That's really good, really, really good. Okay, anybody else wanna share? Ooh, girls, whoa, that's awesome. That looks awesome. Some true jellyfish pictures right there with all the different parts. Nice, really nice. Ooh, girls, that looks great. Those look really good, really, really good. Let's see, Um, do you wanna share? Oh, there we go. Gotta bring it a little closer. There we go, nice. Oh, Ooh, he's got lots of tentacle arms. <laughs> awesome, I like how you drew them like little beads. Ooh, bring it a little closer, let's see. That looks great, nice job. Oh, that's a great jellyfish, really good. Really good. Um, anybody else? 
Um, Missy, Missy, yeah, go ahead. Let's see, Missy. Okay, so this is mine. I don't know if you can see it good enough. But it's not, <laughs> <you're> so big. <laughs> he looks like he's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Yeah, you can personalize these jellyfish if you want. <laughs> you can make them jellyfish cartoons, but that looks great. Awesome. Here's Sophia. Uh, hey, Sophia, you want to uh, you want to share? Okay, I'm ready. This is jellyfish. Nice. Awesome. Um. And I think these were kind of easy, because all I did were waves on one side and then do it on the other. So those were yeah, but my jelly describe it as waves. so far. Cool. Then, Looking yeah. good. Looking good. Nice. Nice job. All Thank right. You. There's Kat. Kat, you want to share? Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. I used a different piece of paper that was randomly just sitting on the table. Yeah, that's what this was for. This, that was, this was just a practice. Awesome. That looks like a good little jellyfish you've got there. Very nice. And there's my other ones that I didn't have, like, so I got you. Okay. Out. Yeah. So that's why we practice before we start. All right, last call for anybody who wants to share their uh, yes. sketch. Soren. Soren. Your jellyfish. Whoa, you already watercolored him in. Nice. Nice job. So oh, I made right. a pack of watercolors. Ooh, nice. Awesome. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Max, oh no, your camera isn't working. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a bummer. It's okay. Um, all right. Um, oh, I think Caden, Caden, are you trying to share? You got to take that you got to take the amazing background off <laughs> to share because it always gets in the way. Oh, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. But for the next share, you might want to take that background off, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So because this is just my practice sheet of paper, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I try to sketch using um, my oil pastel. So for the oil pastel, I'm not sure, I've, you may or may not be able to see this when I try to do it because I'm doing white on white. Um, also, this is, like I said before, this is much thicker than the tip of my pencil, so I'm not gonna be able to get as much, much detail in. But I'm gonna try my best, and oh, you might not, you can probably barely see it, I can barely see it too. Like, I, I can kind of see it like, if, I, if I like hold my paper up to the light. So this might be a, a kind of tricky, when you're, when you're watching me draw, but you, that's why we did these tests, or this test beforehand, or this practice beforehand, so you can see kind of what I'm drawing in. And I'm, I'm also drawing things in with a lot less detail, because this is a lot um, thicker, so I'm gonna, I'm, this is kind of gonna be a, a quick, fast project, because I can't really add a lot of detail in. I'm just adding in the parts that I, that I know. So this is kind of a, tentacle arms, and, and this is just practice, because I'm gonna show you what happens when I add the watercolor. So I kind of drew it in, <laughs> you can barely see it. Um, one thing, one tip when you're working with watercolors that I like to do, before I color anything in, I like to wake my color up by adding water into the pan, if, you're, if, you, have a, if you have pan um, watercolors. So like, I already knew I was gonna use blue, I knew I was gonna use purple, Maybe I'll wake up green too. So I'll wake up some green. So I just add some water in it and it just helps, the, uh, help, the water helps um, saturate the pigment, the color that's in the tray, and it will, um, it'll come out darker. So all right, I did that, so I'm gonna set this aside. Lee, there are a couple questions. Yeah. Um, should we be starting now? Um, no, uh, no, don't start quite yet. I'm just gonna show you real quick what happens when I um, try to add water on top of my oil pastel. You're gonna see how it, uh, how it resists. And I see the other question from Cameron is, can I make a catastrophic squid? Totally, you absolutely can. Like these pictures, like I said before, these are, you are your own artists and you guys can come up with whatever you want. If you don't wanna do a jellyfish and you wanna do a catastrophic squid, you totally can. Great, great question, Cameron. All right, so I'll just do some blue. 
I've got some blue in here. So I'm just gonna go over my whole thing. And you can see that wherever I'm adding the water, it, the watercolor, it is resisting. Where I added the oil pastel, it kind of resisted and pushed away. And all of a sudden this like picture kind of magically appears. So this is called, this is called a watercolor resist. So um, if you have a crayon, you can test it. Like I just tested mine on, um, on my scrap paper. If you, um, if you don't have these materials and you just want to do a, like drawings, like you totally can, it's totally up to you. Um, one more thing that I was optional was if you have salt, <laughs> salt can kind of be a really interesting um, trick on top of watercolor. You, ha you have to do it quickly and you have to work while your paper is still wet. But sometimes if you sprinkle a little bit of salt onto a wet piece of watercolor, it also acts as a weird resist. And let's see if I, this one kind of, kind of worked. So you can kind of see, so this is my test. You can kind of see up in this corner where the, the, the salt pushed away and made these really interesting patterns in the, um, oops, some of the salt is, hasn't, hasn't brushed off yet because my paper was still wet. So let me, let me brush off the rest of the salt. <laughs> you have to, sometimes you have to wait till it's dry to, to brush it all off. My paper's still a little damp, but you can see these, like these are called, like called watercolor blooms where like the watercolor like almost like like bleeds open like a um uh, I'm not sure what it's like but it's like like this like this area like how the the purple and the blue melded but you can see all these little specks happen because of the salt so it's just a kind of another we neat little trick that you can do to add interest to your background if you are if you're into that you're using watercolors well like I said before today is kind of all about you and your I like your thoughts and your ideas so um, I'm gonna try drawing in a couple of jellyfish on my paper I am using a thicker piece of paper this is the paper I'm gonna be using and it is um, it's just watercolor paper so it'll hold the water a little bit better but if you don't have that you're totally, you can use just, I mean, this is just regular copy paper. What might happen though is that the paper will wrinkle up a little bit and when it's dry, you can put a heavy book on it or something to flatten it. So that's what I'm using. All right. So like you saw me before and that's, this is, this, it's gonna be a little hard to see. That's why I, I drew them out for you, but first, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and you guys can go, go ahead and get started too. Um, drawing in some of my jellyfish and you can add as much or as little detail as you want or as you can with your uh, with your oil pastel or your crayon or your drawing because like I said everybody is doing kind of their own thing yeah you, you probably won't be able to see oh ooh, I have some color on my hand that's coming out of my paper oh well oh, it'll come off later that's from the charcoal Has anybody ever um, been accidentally stung by a jellyfish? I totally have. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Teresa, you've never done a resist before? Yeah, resists are really neat. I really like resists. What, are, what do we do if we don't have the oil packed out? Then you can always just draw in your um, your your jellyfish the way we just did, and just okay. watercolor and watercolor it in. It's totally it's totally fine. If you don't have an oil pastel, then yep, yeah, just you can color it in. You can draw it in. It's totally up to you. Okay, thank you. No problem. And so I actually think the drawings are are really cool like part of me only wants to just do a drawing of the jellyfish because like I said you can get way more detail using a pencil than you can um, using this uh, see oh if maybe if I, if I kind of put it like this you can kind of see my drawing <laughs> you can kind of see it in the Sun when it gl like glistens but um, yeah I think it's I think it's I think the drawings because you can get, get so much more detail now I'm gonna do a whole swarm so I'm gonna fill up my paper with a bunch of them 
And there's lots of different types of jellyfish too. I don't, don't actually know what type we were drawing in. You're just drawing like a basic jellyfish. But one of the most dangerous, um, dangerous, oh, the most dangerous and most poisonous, sorry, the most venomous or most poisonous um, sea animal is actually a jellyfish. It's the box jellyfish. But we don't have to worry about them here. They're mostly just in the waters off of Australia. Well, I've heard about the box jellyfish. You I've have? heard about them. They're like yeah. really dangerous. They are. Like they can kill you if they sting you. I heard about a girl named Rachel who's ten year old and got stung by them and vinegar just makes it worse. Does it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a totally different kind like, of kind of like medical thing that makes them better. Uh, I don't remember the name, but yeah. Well, part yeah, part of um, part of what uh, what makes the venom really scary is that it like it. I think it can affect your heart, so I think it can like um, uh, I think it can make your heart stop beating if you're not if you're if you're not treated really quickly. So that's super scary. One, two, and I'll do another one down here. Three. So maybe a couple of these are going off the page or something. And like I said, this is a resist, so they'll they'll magically appear when I start adding my watercolor in. <laughs> so you may not be able to see my drawing right now. I can barely see my drawing right now, but we'll be able to see it once once we start adding in that color. Laura finished her outline and is asking if she can fill fill it in with watercolor now. Oh, totally. This is this is a pretty quick project today. So if you if you were like ready to start watercoloring, yeah, add it in. Totally. You could you could do like I did and just kind of go over the whole thing with blue. Blue is for water. Or if you want to actually add color to your your jellyfish and you want to like paint them in a specific color, you can do that too. Like like I might I might paint some of my jellyfish in orange. And do the background blue. That's what I think. I think I was thinking I might do. Do one more right here. This one also was going off the page. Yeah, I'm, I was really glad when I was reading about box jellyfish. I was really happy that we didn't have them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least where we are in California. <laughs> Everybody's scared of sharks, but in reality, sharks are not nearly as scary as box jellyfish. Cat has her hand up. Hi, Cat. What's up? So the problem I'm having is that it's not actually resisting my. Crayon. Is that resisting your crayon very well? Hmm. Try bearing down and pressing harder on the lines that you did. With the pasta, I mean that's the pasta. I mean with, with the, the crayon, crayon with the um, watercolor. With the crayon, with the crayon. Try to make your line darker. Ooh, I hear my echo. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little tricky. Oil pastel does work the best, but um, crayon will work if you press down really hard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start watercoloring in mine. Move this out of the way. Oh, as always, whenever you have water near your computer, just be really careful. I try to move my water as far away as possible from my computer, so if it spills, if I fall, if I, um, then uh, it'll be less likely to hit my computer. So I'm actually going to do the jellyfish orange. Vienna and Victoria commented, if you shine a flashlight on your drawing, it'll show up. Oh, that's a cool trick. I haven't tried that. That's a really cool trick. I'm doing the jellyfish kind of yellow and orange. And I, you can see that the water is beating up on them. You might need to take a paper towel and like just like press over and make like and make it a little damp. 
like maybe do some blue around the, the jellyfish. See what happens. See what happens. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes art is just about experimenting and seeing what works, what doesn't work. It's about trying new things. Sometimes you like something, sometimes you're like, eh, it didn't work. And that's okay. Beatrice has her hand up. Yeah, Beatrice. Ooh, you added in like some, <laughs> a, sea, a, a sea turtle. Nice, very nice. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. I'm just kind of coloring around, painting around where my jellyfish are. I'm going to, I know that I have another jellyfish here, so I'm going to start with some yellow. Ooh, it's turning out green because I still have blue on my brush. I have some orange. Where this jellyfish is. And this is like, like with, with the resist, you don't get a lot of detail. It's more about like the colors that you're adding. It's less about the, 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 the careful detail. It's a totally different style of art than, than, um, than doing a, uh, like a drawing. Totally different. Add in some more color down here. But I, I, have, I always love this because it, it feels a little bit like magic. It feels like, like the way that your picture, you, the way you can't really see it, but then when you add the color on top, like it's, uh, it just feels kind of magical when it, when it appears. I, I think some people might have come in a little late. Elise is asking, what am I supposed to do? Oh, hi, Elise. Um, we are doing a resist. So a resist is we were using watercolor and oil pastels or crayons to draw in like a jellyfish swarm. But if you don't have those materials, you can always just draw a picture of the jellyfish. That's what I, I showed before we started. I, I did a quick drawing of, of jellyfish and the different, we talked about the different parts of a jellyfish. Um, I can try to leave this, um, let's see, let's scoot this over a little bit. I can set this right here so you can kind of see a little bit of the drawing that we did it's right there. If you want to just do a, a drawing of, this, of the jellyfish. But yeah, today was just all about jellyfish. It was jellyfish day. And, um, and we were using um, oil pastels and, and, uh, and watercolor because oil and water don't mix. They're uh, opposites. And so they, if you've ever tried to mix them in like a, a glass or a bowl or something, like you'll see that the oil and the water just kind of separate from each other. Um, so that's, that's kind of what we're doing today. We're, we're using that science to make what is called an art resist. Where, so where I drew, right, like I, like this space right here where I drew a jellyfish in with a white oil pastel, you can't see it until I start to add some color on top and all of a sudden those lines will start to appear. And it's, this, this project is less about the details and more about just like experimenting with the, with the material today. Cool to try new materials. Some tentacles over here. And then I also had some salt that I'm gonna just try my hand out and sprinkle on while my paper is still kind of wet. We'll see what happens. You have to, if you're working with the salt though, you gotta kind of work fast. You have to, cause you have to, it only works where the paper is still wet. So I'm trying to add it only to the areas where I see there's pools of water still happening. Cool. 
All right. So there's my, there's my jellyfish swarm. <laughs> I'm going to let it dry for a bit. Maybe while, I'm going to set it. Yeah. So maybe I'll set it to the side so that it can dry a little bit. And while I'm doing that, maybe I work on my drawing. Maybe I'll start a new drawing of jellyfish. So for, if you, if you uh, missed it, I will uh, switch these, flip this over. If you missed it, I'll, uh, I'll do another drawing of a jellyfish. There we go. Okay. We got a new piece of paper. But I'm totally curious. Oh, you got stung by a bee three days ago? No, Megan. Ouch. Sorry. Um, I'm totally curious uh, if anybody, how, how anybody's resistor's going though. Oh, on your foot, did you step on it? Oh. So I'm gonna, if you're ready to share, you can always just raise your, your hand or hold your paper up and, and Scott will highlight you or will he'll spotlight you. Couple hands up already, here's Kat. Yeah, yeah, let's see. So I my resist was not doing well at all. Okay. So I thought, yeah. And so if anyone's crayon doesn't seem to be working, no matter how hard you press, if you have a tiny bit of cooking oil, you need you put it in a cup or something. You dip your crayon in it and dab just slightly. Then when you draw and try and resist it actually works oh that's so smart what a what a smart like idea i love that you could still mixing yeah the oil and the water because they'll they'll resist one another that's a really cool idea very very clever very clever idea i love it thanks for sharing that tip uh cat i've never tried to use cooking oil but it totally makes sense. It's just science, right? It's just, um, it's just, it's just oil and water. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Does anybody else want to share? Here's Soren. Soren, how are your jellyfish going? So my resist I didn't use a crying. This one went like a crazy robot thingy. <laughs> it's a ro. Wait, it's a robot jellyfish. <laughs> No, it suddenly like turned into like this robot under suit was about to punch something really hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. I don't know what happened, but All right. Well, I like I like that you're being really creative with it. I like that like y like you took you took it to a new place. That's awesome, Soren. Welcome. Cool. Here's Laura. Hey, Laura. Okay, so I'm going to flip my camera because I don't want anything dripping. Yeah, good idea. Good idea, yeah. It's a little harder to, a little harder to share today because you don't, everything will start dripping down. I, my camera is so... Ooh, I see, I see that it resisted. That looks awesome. What do you think? Thank you. Yeah, that looks great. Um, were you using an oil pastel or a crayon? What were you? I'm curious. Crayon. Crayon? Awesome. I'm glad the crayon worked. Yeah, sometimes, it, I think it just sometimes also depends on the type of crayon. It just, sometimes they work better than others. I don't know. <laughs> but that looks great. Mm. Nice job. Thank you. Anybody else want to share their work so far? So I'm just, I'm just sketching in because I already finished my resist. I'm waiting for it to dry. I'm just gonna draw in. So maybe I'll have two different pieces of artwork to share, like a jellyfish swarm drawing and a jellyfish swarm um, resist, watercolor resist. So there's like one jellyfish. Maybe I'll do another one. Maybe this one's, I like drawing when I'm, when I'm, because I'm doing a whole swarm, I like doing them so that they're like going off the page. So like maybe this one is like, It's only like only part of it, part of him is visible. It's the, I like it. whenever I go to aquariums, I think the coolest thing to watch is the all the jellyfish, the jellyfish tanks. 
I just think they're so cool, the way they move. Not that I would want to be in the water with one, but <laughs> I like watching them. They're really, um, they're really magnificent looking. So I'm adding in some of those, only one of those eye spots because the other one, you can't really see it's off the page. But maybe you see some of these tentacles coming down for sure. And oh, I'm gonna add in some of the, uh, the tentacle arms, oral arms, I think is what they call them. Teresa says, my resist did not work at all. It just turned into a watercolor. Oh no, I'm sorry. Sometimes it's just really tricky. It's really tricky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends on sometimes the materials that you have. Um, and that's why today is just kind of an experiment. I'm sorry it didn't work. She you could try- an oil pastel. She was using an oil pastel? Yeah. Whoa, okay. Um, well, normally that does work, but uh, it's oil and water. It's hard for me to troubleshoot that by like online. Sometimes it's sometimes it's the brand of the oil pastel. Sometimes I don't know. Do you do you could try what um you could try Kat's idea and using like a little kitchen oil. You could do like a kitchen oil painting, honestly. And then on top of it, you could uh, you could you could add the watercolor and see if that works. Try it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Sorry, it didn't work, Teresa. One little downside of the kitchen oil is it kind of bleeds through the pa your paper. It doesn't get on the table, but yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's why you'd have to have an extra thick paper. Yeah, you're right, because that would, would it would go through. So maybe you'd want to, like, I always put down, like, a this is a just a, a extra placemat type paper <laughs> that I put down just because. Missy, you would like to share? Sure. So I drew an octopus. Whoa. Oh, wow, what a great octopus. I love his head shape. That's amazing. Were you drawing that from your imagination or were you looking at um, a, like a picture? I was just looking at a picture of inspiration. I love it, I love it. So that's a, that's a great idea. I really, I love it. I, the, you, I can really tell you captured all of his like details, like the rings around his eyes <laughs> and, and all of his like little, te uh, little suction cups on the bottom of his, of his tentacles. That looks awesome. Thank you. Very cool. Hmm, yeah. one more over here maybe. Yeah, so today you might end up with, with different, some, a couple of different types of, types of art. You might, might you, if, you're, you're, if your resist worked, then awesome. If not, then you can try a drawing like what I'm doing. Jellyfish swarm. Also, something I just found, if you really wanted your resist to work and you're using the kitchen oil. Yeah. Even if it doesn't turn out perfect, you could dip your crayon in again while there's just the watercolors are still away. Uh-huh. And if you do it over, then it actually works and the um, watercolors go away. Oh, very cool. That's a very cool trick. Yeah, because it's the oil and the water. Science. They will not mix oil and water. Let's see. Does anybody else want to share any of their any any of their work? It doesn't have to be the resist. It can be a drawing that you've done. Yeah, Laura, you want to share? Okay. Yes, Laura. Yeah. So I wanted to say um, that why the salt works is because the salt seeps up the water from the watercolor. Also, I have this uh, this dragon I've been working on. 
Ooh. Oh, wow. What an amazing dragon. Look at the, the, the texture on him, like with all the scales and like the, the thin, like the wing, paper thin wings. Very cool. What an awesome dragon. Nice. Here's Sophia and Emily. Sophia, Emily, how are you, how are you, how are you, uh, your drawings coming out? Your resist coming out? We think we use watercolors, but no, um, but I think it's just paint. That's why. But this one we went over with some, we went over light with the, uh, this one. So uh -huh. we, that was the one that worked out. And on okay. this one, you can only see like the top of it almost, but it's covered in red. And then here is my. As you're drawing. Yeah, so that, that's actually a good point. Right. So maybe maybe if sometimes if you like lighten up the color, you, so it's not as saturated, so there's not as much um, pigment in it, so more water, um, the, it, might, it might show up a little bit better. Whoa, I can see them though. I can see your three jellyfish. See the shapes of them. Yeah, the orange one did really turn out. The one that's kind of turquoise-ish. I went over with pencil and you can kind of see the white lines and then the yellow one you can kind of see the white. Yeah, try 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 like using less color on your like on your paintbrush. Because I pressed hard on the with white. the yeah, yeah. So it could just be, it could also be like use trying to use less um, color on your paintbrush. Okay. You could try that. You could just see. Thank you. Yeah. There's a question. What kind of paper do you use? So I was using for my resist, I was using watercolor paper. So here, it's, it's almost dry. I can, I can hold it back up. So it's, it's like a thicker, thicker type of paper. Um, and it's, I don't know. I don't know the actual brand of it. It was just. It was. I think it was just like it went to Amazon and and Googled watercolor paper. It's, they're usually like a little bit thicker. They usually have a little bit of texture to them. Um, that's what I I tend to use whenever I use watercolor. Just because you'll find that if you try to do watercolor on other kinds of papers, like this is my first really quick example, it it just it doesn't come out as 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 well. Like you can kind of see the resist, but the paper itself gets really crinkly. And it, um, it, the, the colors don't look as vibrant or as bright. See the, the difference between the colors on a watercolor paper versus the colors on um, just a regular piece of copy paper. They're very different. So that's why I have a, that's why I was using the watercolor paper. But yeah, sometimes, so sometimes the type of paper you're using matters too. Here's Vienna and Victoria. Hi yeah, girls, let's see. Kind of so oh wow! Oh, they worked. Nice, very nice. <laughs> look at all that. Look at that swarm. A whole swarm of them. <laughs> all right, upside down. Very cool. Yeah, don't try to hold that one up. It's got it's got a lot of uh, water on it still. It'll drip. That looks great. Wow! What an awesome job. Very cool. I totally see that jellyfish. I like that, that you opted to do one jellyfish and then the other, uh, you, and then your sister opted to do a whole bunch of jellyfish. <laughs> Very like, cool. This is the mother and these are the baby jellyfish. Oh, I don't... yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Great job. <laughs> Um, yeah, is anybody else would is there anybody else who would like to share? Ooh, who's this? This is Charlotte. Oh, hi Charlotte. Let's see. Um, this you can see this one better than this one. Oh yeah, because it, it's yeah because of the I think the pink was really like light, like the yeah. the pigment on it was light. That looks great though. I but can totally see. It. A little bit of shading of red and orange. Yeah. And then there's a bit of green. Oh, cool. And then around them, shading all around them. Okay. I think they make purple and red go together. Uh huh. Very cool. Very cool. It looks great. I'm glad that it, I'm glad that it worked out a little uh, for you. So yeah, try try using like less color, lighter, lighter like pastelly shades with more water in them. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. My, my, my dear. Work. Yeah, try it. Here's Elise. I do not want to have Hi. to flashlight. But How is yours coming? Whoa, that's Gerald. Is that Gerald from um, Piggy? Piggy and Gerald? <laughs> I like that you just went your own way. Very cool. You should you should do Piggy too. Which book is is he? Is that is does he have a bird on his head? That's my favorite. <laughs> I also drew a other Piggy one. Yeah, let's see. I love those books. I totally love those books, Piggy and Gerald books. Hi. Let's see. Oh, there's Piggy. <laughs> You should do, um, there's, isn't there another character? There's a piggy, there's Gerald, and there's also, um, like a, I know that there's a bird. And there's a bird on my head. Pigeon. Pigeon, oh yeah, you could do the pigeon. You could do the, you could, you could do, you totally yeah, do a pigeon. I, have, I, I also have a pigeon. <laughs> All right, I like that you took it your own way. Went your own way with it. Nice. Awesome. I love it. I love the little, it's the Mo Willems trifecta. Very cool. Piggy, Gerald, and Pigeon. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Here's Kat. Hi, Kat. Um, so, here we go is, um, the My Little Pony character, but I'm turning it into, like, a changeling. Oh, she looks like a, like a, um, beta fish. <laughs> she totally looks like a beta fish. That's awesome. Very cool. And then I'll perform it to make an OC for my very, sister. Very cool. original character for my sister. Well, this is under the sea week, so it's it's any kind of ocean any kind of ocean creatures. <laughs> very cool. Oh, Teresa, I'm glad you had fun. Um, uh, I then very cool drawing. Thanks for sharing, Kat. Hi, Kaden. So this is the drawing. Ooh, the watercolor came out good. Yeah. Nice. And I have a second drawing. This is my makeup, and I have a real jellyfish drawing. Later. Okay. I just need to find it. Okay. It's here. Guess what this jellyfish is? Whoa. I like how that how it came out with the watercolor. That's really neat. Guess what it is? I don't know. You have to tell me. It's a box jellyfish. It is it. Okay. <laughs> oh, there, there are tentacles extra long because that that picture looks extra long. <laughs> Light bluish. Oh, and because of the ocean and transparent. Oh, smart, smart. Yeah, I guess I'd have to look at some pictures. If ever I, if ever I go to Australia and swim in the waters off of Australia, I'll have to, I'll have to do some research on what a box jellyfish looks like. Although I don't think they generally come close to the shore. I feel like they're more like deep sea jellyfish. Australia? Australia? Yeah, they're near, they're near the coast of Australia. I know that's where you can, or they're off of Australia. So I know that's where you can find them. Oh, yeah. I looked at a picture. It's like really shallow water because I saw lots of sunlight coming. Oh, uh oh. Well, I guess before you go swim in Australia, you'll have to look out for. You have to. You have to do some research. <laughs> Make sure you know what they look like. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Kaden. Hi, Lily. Thank you. Hi. Let's see what you do. Wow. Oh, it came out. It resisted. Oh, that's awesome. I know it's hard to hold it up because it'll drip. But look at that. It totally resisted. That's awesome. Very cool. Very cool. You can do, you know, you can do all sorts of different kinds of drawings with resist too. Now that you, now that you have the materials for it and you know it works. Yeah. You could do like ghost drawings. You could do, you could do anything, any kind of resist. Very cool. Thanks. Yours came out. Yours came out really nice. It resisted well. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Beatrice. hi, Beatrice. Let's see. Uh oh. I think you're trying to flip your camera around. Or there you go. So this is Sonic, 
and then there's his knuckles on the rock. And then this one is cute. Very cute. And this is Sonic. I see Sonic. And he runs really fast. And this is a robot. <laughs> and the robot. And what's that at the top? Knuckles. Ah. Uh, they, they got teleported to a human place. Okay. And the boy saved Sonic because he, he was at the swimming pool and he doesn't know how to swim. So he came inside the grown up <laughs> pool and I swim up. <laughs> oh, no. So he, like, you should. Keep a secret from us, and like, and like, okay, and then everybody knows him now. <laughs> you should draw Sonic wearing floaties in the pool or sitting in an inner tube. <laughs> I know one of those. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Nice hi. job. Hi, hi, Elise. I'm not Elise. I'm her sister. Oh, sorry. What's your name? Nasa. Hi, Nasa. Show us what you did. I made a volcano. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Is that volcano exploding and the lava is flowing down? I see. Is it an underwater volcano? No, it's not underwater. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. I like that everybody just kind of went off and did like their own, their own, use their own creativity for this one. Thank you for sharing. Nathan. I think Soren's hand was up, right? Or the five one five. Yes, here's Soren. Hi, Soren. So, uh, do you know the company Bugatti? Yeah, yeah, I know Bugatti. I just threw the Bugatti sixteen point four Veyron Super Sport right here. Oh my gosh! All right, it looks. Whoa, it looks pretty crazy. It looks like it has a. It looks. It looks like it has. I know. Two. I'm planning on working in. Bugatti, Koenigsegg, Ferrari, and Lamborghini, and buying cars from the companies, too. <laughs> I'm planning on trying to buy this car when I grow up. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. That's a pretty, it's a pretty fancy car. It's pretty, it can go real fast. Be cool if they do an electric Bugatti. <laughs> what if it was like, fully Wait, solar? Have you heard about the Bugatti Sheeran 300 Plus? It, it's top, it, the biggest top, the highest top speed record ever was 304 miles set by Bugatti, but the Bugatti shown 300 plus. Whoa. It went 304 miles, which was crazy. Yeah, I'd be scared if I was in a car going that fast. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't be scared. <laughs> like, oh yeah, this is so fast. I love it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, Soren. So I, I might have been a little scared. Um, I think I, Scott just just put the spotlight back on this, which is because I it was just great because I wanted to show you. So these are the two different types of drawings that you could have come out with today. So you could have done like a resist. You could have also done a drawing. I saw I heard I, I saw a bunch of people who kind of took it took the drawing their own way, <laughs> which is totally fine. Um, so we're gonna be. There's one more. There's one more class on Friday for um, uh, for Sea Week, Ocean Week, uh, Mysteries of the Sea. So if you enjoy the ocean and drawing things that are in it, then join me tomorrow at ten because we're gonna do one more ocean type drawing. Um, which let me can't even remember what it was that I had picked. Let me let me go back and check. Let's see. Oh yes, we're gonna do oh, oh, some more ocean animals, and we're gonna learn like some contour drawings. So if you're into that, then come join me on Friday. All right, guys. I hope you had fun. Hold on, hold on. I I, I have something to say real fast. You have what? What's that cat? Um. So I have an aunt and uncle who live in Australia. Yeah. And so I could ask them what the box jellyfish looks like. Oh, yeah, you could do that. You could, should totally ask them. Ask them if they've ever seen one. <laughs> and I could tell you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let me know tomorrow. And I know that um, there's a couple people who didn't get a chance to share. I think it was... Um, uh, um, yeah. I Has her hand up? Like yeah, go ahead. Hi. Uh, okay. um, the first one that I tried was... Uh-huh. 
I didn't get enough water. Oh. But the second one, it's this. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I can totally the see them. It's right here. Oh, to I totally see it. I can totally see the lines there. And I, I tried to do, like, dark to light, but it didn't really work out. <laughs> yeah, it's tricky. Today, like I said, today is all about experimenting and seeing what works and what doesn't work. <laughs> cool. Thanks for sharing. Um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hi, Megan. Yeah, there's Megan. a question. I didn't get to share. Oh, yours came out, Megan. Nice. That looks awesome. Very cool. I'm glad that the ears worked. But I'll do, I'll probably do one later. Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool. Nice job. Oh, yeah, girls, let's see. How did yours come out? Uh, uh, here's my first one. Ooh, very nice. It didn't really come out, so I kind of just tried to paint over it with black. You painted it in, yeah. That's a good, a good solution. Oh, that one kind of works. I can see the lines on that one. You tell Tom the computer or something. Ooh. I can, I can see that one totally. I can definitely Sorry. see it. It's kind of wet, so I can't. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's hard to share these because you don't want to hold them up or they'll drip. Very cool. Okay, so I made two. Here's my first one. Oh, it, it, it worked. I can see. I can totally see the lines coming through. Very nice. Here's my second. Oh, that one came through even better. I can totally see them. Very nice. I'm glad you, I'm glad that yours worked, girls. Very cool. Thank you. Nice job. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. Max, you got your camera to work. I love yeah, it. it. Cool. I, I love that you just, your solution to just paint them in and, and to add in a top hat. I love his, his hat. <laughs> Oh, wow. That looks amazing. What did you end up uh, painting them in with? Uh, so I used, so first I used like this really light like turquoise thing because Max was using the white. But then uh -huh. I ended up using a dark green because it didn't show up. Oh, I kind of really like the dark green though. Like I think yeah. that it made a really cool effect. And up here uh, is like this like whitish blue because uh, we accidentally grabbed a uh, white acrylic. Oh. But I thought it'd be cool if I made like a cool, like wave effect at the top. Yeah, it's like ombre. It's like how the water gets lighter as it goes as the sun is coming down through it. Yeah, that's awesome. That looks that looks great. I'm glad that yours that yours worked. Very cool. Cool drawings, guys. All right. Is there any last call for anybody who would like to share? Which cameras? Has everybody gotten a chance to share? I would like to share. Um, who Who's just? That? Who was that? Say, um, Charlotte. Charlotte, okay. Charlotte, Charlotte. Spotlight Charlotte. Okay, go ahead, Charlotte. I'm gonna change my, I'm gonna switch my hand. Yeah. This is my second one. I'm oh, working you, on. You can kind of see it. Yeah, I'm trying to shade it as best as I can because I want to just yeah. make a shade picture and then the lines just so cool very cool I like that you're experimenting with this technique so like the cool thing about about this is that like if you like doing pictures like this like I said to somebody else that you can do kind of any any kind of drawing with this that you want so you can just it could just be an abstract drawing with the lines um, so these are this is just a kind of a new technique to try out but you guys did great. I love that everybody like was troubleshooting. <laughs> because sometimes things aren't as easy as we hope they're going to be, and life is kind of about solving problems. So can you show show your picture one more time? Sure. But everybody did an awesome job troubleshooting today and figuring out what works and what doesn't work. So here here were my two. Judy, did you want my watercolor or the drawing? I just I wasn't able to. The groceries came, so now I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, for sure. So, yeah, so I, so I ended up doing two because I was just talking about troubleshooting because sometimes what you think will work won't, doesn't work. So sometimes you got to like, uh, you got to try something different. So I did two different types. This was with the oil pastel and the watercolor and it was on watercolor paper, which helps your, the watercolor um, make, it, make it a lot brighter. And this was just with charcoal pencil on regular copy paper. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Uh, 
Well, thank you. I'm glad that you guys all got a chance to, to, uh, to troubleshoot and to, and, to, and to do your jellyfish swarms, guys. All right, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow um, for the last day of, of Mysteries of the Sea Week. All right, bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.